Roads. I'm Carl, and today I'm going to be driving home with. Hi, it's Alfred. <laughs> no. Hi. Yeah. Do that again. We'll leave I can... it... <laughs> Okay, so welcome to The Collective on 2FM. This is a brand new series where I'm Carl and I'm going to be driving home with some of our favourite presenters on 2FM. Today, I'm going to be driving home with... Africa O'Connell. You're, you're going to have to explain yourself a bit. Sticks the flags. Jesus, Africa. What? It's very hard to get into. Now you take this. <laughs> I thought you were going to give me like a handheld one. <laughs> now do you have your seatbelt on? I do have my seatbelt on. Like give the lads an LB there now, give them a wave. Oh. Give the lads a wave. Give them a wave. Oh. <laughs> well, the whole idea with this is that we want to get to know you know the presenters from 2FM a little bit better. Okay, sure, sure. so people will know you from Weekend Breakfast, ah. and they'll know you from Owen McDermott Show. But you're also the sound of the nation. Hear us, see us, live us. Go on. Oh, gee, would you look at this fella now? Right. Christ right. Almighty! Right. We're about to have an accident. Right. So they they auditioned a load of people, and I um I did it and. Our friend Adam did it as well. I do the hear it, see it, live it for the news. Nikki has one, uh, Nikki only asks me ever one thing and he has asked us to do, <laughs> to, to give him the name of the nation. My first job in RTE was as a call taker on Liveline. That was my first job too. And one of my favorite jobs as well. Yeah, I, I loved that job. It, like, I do it like, I do that job again tomorrow. I loved it so much because it was just like you come in and you sit down and you put your little headset on or whatever and you chat to people for hours. Yeah. I'd love to see him be president. Imagine Joe Duffy as president. I'd love meeting, to see Joe as president. Meeting Theresa May, yeah. not giving her an inch. Go on. Now the main thing about this is we do want to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. okay? Yeah. So to start off, I do have a few little like kind of quick fire questions. Okay. What's your favorite animal? I love dogs. Love dogs. Mad do you have a dog? I did have a dog, R.I.P. He oh, Tory passed away. Do you need to go? Thanks for that. Girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know the worst thing is, I knew that dog was dead, and he asked the question anyway. <laughs> so, what's your what's your favorite food? My mom does like an unbelievable roast chicken. She loves the lemon up its arse, all that kind of crap. <laughs> favorite movie? Every Christmas, I watch it. The name of the Father, yes. and it's not a Christmas film. Yeah, it's not festive. <laughs> But I love that film, uh, The Office or whatever, and it was... You wouldn't mind us getting not run over by that truck that we made, so I thought you were going over. What are you talking about? <laughs> All I could see was this truck going, I was like, she's not stopping. If you make me out to be a shit driver, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you are going to be a typical you. woman, huh? Well, Jenny Green told me once that I drive like a man, and it was the best compliment I ever received in my life. Now, favourite album? I think I'm going to have to say either Dr. Dre 2001, or the Martian Mathers LP as well. as well. I adored when I was growing up. Okay. Do you have a favorite quote? The best advice anyone ever gave me ever was to say was to say to me that if you want to get the measure of someone's character, you watch how they treat people who can be of no use to them. Oh. There you are now. This person got to can you take your time there. They're they're on the phone, they're texting. Now she is. What really pisses you off on the road? What gets your goat? The thing that annoys me more than anything else driving is if you let someone out in traffic and they don't say thanks. Oh my That God. sends me into a blind rage. I, I think it's the most ignorant thing because there's no way that you don't know that I've just done that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I like, there's absolutely no way that you don't know that I just inconvenienced myself on the road <laughs> so that you could continue your journey. The receptionist from Morty is behind us. Is she? Yeah. Which one? The one who's not Julie. I'm one of these people, right? If I have something embarrassing happen to me, I'm kind of like better out than it. I'm okay. like, I might as well share it with the world. Because okay. Because th these things are too, they're too good to not share. Yeah. So with that in mind, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, I did fall over out of my standing. <laughs> we were Hang in, on, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> we were in um, legs. In legs? <laughs> Whoa, in legs, that was bad. That was bad, yeah. But, okay, I'll tell the story. Okay. I'm <laughs> standing, talking to Afric, and we were actually both grand. Fine! Genuinely, we were both grand. <laughs> you collapsed. Just fell 
Your legs just gave up from underneath you. <laughs> I don't know what happened still. It must have been wrecked. And I was too busy laughing that you men from across the smoking yeah. area had to walk across You were and gathering you a crowd as well. <laughs> Oh, what's your most useless talent? A good mimic, like I can do good accents and stuff. Okay, do a Scottish accent. Yeah, so like I do a Scottish accent. Wow! Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? You see, it's good. That is good, German. Well, you know, yes, you do it. The thing, the thing is about doing an accent is that you don't do it too much. That's like, you actually sound like a German who's lived in Ireland for See? five or six years. That's very good. in France. Well, you know, that's, if, if it is an accent that you want to do, you know, it is, um, it's important that you don't put too much exaggeration on it. I feel like that's more Portuguese or something. <laughs> Rate your parking. Can't be that bad, sure. Hang on now, let's have a look. Ah, uh, now I have to say that's a wide space, and you're very much on the line. Ah! You're in between. Am I in the line? You're in the line. That's what matters then. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>